showtime! The Capital G Show starts right now. What's up YouTube, Capital G here. So just a couple of days ago on this channel, you guys will probably remember I posted a video saying that everybody needed to chill out and stop calling Burning Abyss Tier Zero. It was nowhere close to that. And boy, oh boy, there were people lined up around the block ready to tell me how wrong I was. They were like, Capital G, Fire Lake is so broke and you're an idiot. You've never played against the deck. You don't know what you're talking about. It's unbeatable. Hell, even YugiTubers came out. There was um, the RJB0, who I actually like a lot. I am subscribed to this guy. I watch his videos. Um, I love his casual Friday videos. And uh, my video was... I guess it was somewhat of a video response to some of the videos that he had been um, making. He immediately stepped in and said that, you know, he thought that ARG Chicago was essentially the blueprint for the rest of the format and that basically BA were just going to steamroll everything until the next ban list. And I was like, okay, that's a very strong claim. I don't believe it. I don't think BA is anywhere near that. And for anybody out there who believed that BA was tier zero, I will once again say, explain. Explain what happened this weekend. We had YCS Milan. This was in Europe. It was over 1,300 players. That is a huge sample size, a very respectable tournament. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure that Burning Abyss won the event, right? What? No, no, they, they, they didn't. In fact, they, they didn't win. They, they lost in the finals after being up a game. Well, what happened, Burning Abyss players? It was actually Quilloffs that won the event and the YCS Milan champion, his name escapes me right now, he actually was down a game in the finals. I watched it live. It was actually an excellent match. And the Burning Abyss player in game three, he resolved Fire Lake twice and still ended up losing. It was, it was crazy. But if you want to look at more statistical evidence that Burning Abyss did not dominate the event or did not dominate this weekend as a real tier zero deck should, you could just look at the top eight and you'd realize that you know, Klee's in uh, Burning Abyss had basically, they had the same exact number of top players. They both had three in the top eight. So I'm just not seeing any dominance. And then you can move on to ARG Atlanta. You know, Burning Abyss did have six players in the top 16 and they won the event. That's totally legit. I mean, nobody will denigrate them at all for doing that. But then when you also look at the other big three, you look at the fact that Shadows took four spots and Klee's took five spots. Klee's also made it to the finals it's like it's basically identical to what happened at uh ar at excuse me at ycs anaheim where i basically made the point that if you look at the top three decks they're basically you're basically splitting hairs none of them can really gain a huge advantage even everybody saying that shadows are you know they're a lower level deck like not really not when they're basically putting in the same amount of top players and they're getting to top fours and they're having a strong representation now you can spend all day debating with me on how good or broken that you believe burning abyss is but at the end of the day i'll say once again numbers don't lie i don't have a vested interest in any of these decks you know i'm not on the sidelines shaking my pom-poms for shadows or cleaves or any of that if shadows came back in january i would drop shadows in a fucking New York minute to play heroes again. The reason that I'm making this video is because I want to put the nail in the coffin of such a silly argument. Burning Abyss are not tier zero. They were never tier zero. And you know, when I'm wrong, I don't hide. I mean, hell, I built an entire video segment based around me being wrong and me basically admitting that I was wrong and explaining why I was wrong. So when I'm wrong, I just come out and say it. And when I'm right, I just come out and say it. I'm not toot my own horn. I'm just giving you guys factual evidence. You know, if Burning Abyss would have basically dominated these two events if it would have won both events if 50 percent of like the top eight and you know like uh the top 16s would have all been burning abyss maybe you could have had a somewhat compelling argument but if you look at gladiator beast or you look at teledad you look at those formats and you see what those decks actually did there were no other decks that were getting to the finals and really contending with those decks those decks fucking dominated for you know like either a full format or multiple formats and burning a bitch just isn't doing that i mean those are the facts it's still probably the best deck of the format because it's the most consistent although 
you could really make an argument that Klee's are the best deck just because they're really doing the damn thing right now. So let me know what you guys think. Again, this is not a deck where you need to kill it with fire. Maybe they just limit Tour Guide and ban or limit Fire Lake. The rest of that can just stay. Thank you guys for watching as always. Subscribing makes life happy.